And welcome back to Hannity. German Chancellor Angela Merkel is now saying she supports banning burkas in her country, saying, quote, wherever it's legally possible. Now, as we've been reporting, Germany has seen a massive influx of refugees over the past several years. Here now with reaction, the director of Jihad Watch, Robert Spencer, and from the Islamic House of Wisdom, Imam Muhammad Ali Alahi is with us. Um, let me ask you about some countries where a lot of these immigrants are coming from, Imam, and that is if you come from a country where men tell women how to dress, men tell women that they can't drive, men tell women whether they can go to work or school, men decide whether they can travel abroad, and you believe that you can kill gays and lesbians for being gay and lesbian, and you can persecute Christians and Jews. If you come from that country and you want to come to America, don't those values, aren't those values obviously contradict the constitutional democratic republic values of this country? The answer is yes, right? It, it does. It is. The answer is yes. But you know, Sean, before we talk about Germany and other countries, let us talk about our home. Put the order in our house first. In the last three days, three ladies not very far from your station in New York City, they were attacked and they did not wear burqa. So it's not about okay, burqa. But the, it, but, is, it is but about here's my bigotry. Question. It is about racism and injustice and Islamophobia. I, I, I don't so think anybody should... let us should talk be, about the real issue now. I condemn anybody that would lash out at somebody or make a judgment against somebody based how they dressed. But that's not my point. If America, which has very limited available, I'll call them slots, for people to come into the country, if you're coming from a country that, where you grow up under a culture and values that directly contradict ours, is it, that's a clash of cultures. I, to me, it's irreconcilable. If which you come here you thinking you, wait, hang which on. Country, if you come which here country is thinking you can right. tell women how to dress, right. no, no. that's that is not going to fly here. That is wrong. But which country are you it's talking wrong. about now? Which country? Okay, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, okay. uh, Kuwait, well, so Oman, you know, tell, which country do you want to go to? Tell your friend uh, Trump why he called uh, King Salman as his first outreach. Uh, listen, first you want to talk to Trump, called, you tell Trump. That, that I'm not is, your messenger. You tell him yourself. <laughs> but Robert Spencer, you've been studying this. The bottom line is there is a clash of cultures, and America has to consider whether or not those people that we're bringing into this country are bringing those, let's say, antiquated, insane values with them. There's no doubt about it, Sean. That's absolutely true, and it's very important. The fact is that uh, if there have been attacks against women wearing hijab, that's reprehensible. But the real problem is attacks by Muslim supremacists against women who are not wearing hijab, including right in Canada, a young girl named Aksa Parvez. She was murdered by her father and brother for not wearing hijab just a few years ago. This has happened elsewhere in America and in Europe. And these are the kinds of values that are coming in where women are essentially commodified. We condemn. If such wait, a thing happened, we condemn that. That's wrong. Imam, Robert's bringing up a good point. You're asking me which countries treat women, gays, lesbians, Christians, and Jews this way in the name of your religion. I, you I'm wait, that my, uh, uh, let me get my question. My question to you is, are you going to speak out and say Sharia law, as practiced in those countries, is abusive to those groups, abusive to women? Is it abusive? Of course. If in the name of your religion? Sharia law, if, if you are talking about Sharia law in Saudi Arabia, of course that's not Sharia law. That is ISIS law. That is al qaeda well, What about law. Iran? That is, is Iran abusive to gays? That is anti-Islamic. I got videos of, of gays and lesbians being thrown off roofs in Iran. Is that... Equally well, well, you abusive? Know, in Iran, at least, there is a democracy. The, the Jews, the Christians, they I'm have their representative is... in the parliament. <laughs> oh, so you, they so can so change you, the this is Sunni versus Shia. This isn't about what's right and wrong. It's what Iran does an abuse towards women and gays and lesbians, yes or no? There is, there is no abuse to women and, and, and uh, uh, gay in Iran. So this show is, me the this evidence. Show me. You no, want to tra trash the Sunnis, but not the Shia. No, 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 no. Sunni. 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 It's not it's about Shia. It's about Shia. It is about truth. It is about justice. These I don't care are about this. Right. Well, last question before no, I get to Iran. I'm talking Iran, about justice. Iran I'm talking about justice. Is Iran I'm talking about truth. Show me the evidence. Show me the evidence. Where in Iran there is such a thing? Is Iran the number one state sponsor of terror in the world? 
That is that is your version. I'm that asking is your you, version. Is Iran that, that is, a state sponsor of terror? Yes or no? No, I don't believe so. Oh, okay. No, that, I don't believe so. That so you is your support the Mullahs in guess. Iran, the terrorists in Iran. Great. Robert, well, I think we got know, to the that, bottom of it. Your, Took a while. Iran is the leading state sponsor of terror. That's a matter of demonstrable fact. And it supports Hezbollah, Hamas, the Taliban, al-Qaeda. Uh, any jihad there is, Iran is involved in some uh, way or another. Are you another. talking about and Iran now or are you talking about Turkey? Are you talking about Germany or are you talking about Iran now? What, and what the